Hey, I'm Brie and welcome to the eighth episode of my exciting European summer series. We've already visited London, Iceland, Amsterdam, Paris, the French Riviera and Cinque Terre. In this video, get ready to be swept away by the beauty of Florence, Italy, known for its rich history, stunning art and delicious cuisine. Join me as we wander through the charming streets, marvel at iconic landmarks, visit the Tuscany region and immerse ourselves in the culture of this enchanting city. Let the adventure begin. Hello guys and welcome to this Florence vlog. I'm so excited to be here we literally just arrived every time i vlog they just know i'm vlogging <laughs> anyways this is our apartment i'll have it linked down below for you guys if you want to stay here because let me just show you the, the view it's like it's amazing first of all look at all these cute little florence houses that people are living in it's so gorgeous and then you turn over here and that's the freaking Duomo. If you aren't aware of Florence and stuff, that's like the Eiffel Tower of Florence, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally in our backyard. <laughs> How cool is that? So this apartment is like in a really good location and we're so excited to be here. I hope that this video helps you if you're planning a trip to Florence. We're actually just gonna pop out and get a gelato because it's so hot. <laughs> we need gelato. Um, and also buy some supplies at a supermarket. So we just went to the shops. We spent 22 euros on some breakfast, eggs, croissants, cheese. Um, we had to get some like Nutella chockies. Oh, and we got some drinks as well. A bottle of water, Pellegrigio, and also some Travigal juice. Something we've learned in our travels is that it's always good to have some food handy because when you're walking around and stuff, sometimes you get really tired because you're on your feet all day and you just need like a little bit of an energy boost. So we bought some things for that. We also bought breakfast because we found that breakfast is an easy meal to eat in your hotel room or Airbnb. Then you don't have to like spend extra money on food you can put that money towards like a nice dinner or something like that we're going to head out now we're gonna do a walking tour okay so we're just about to start our walking tour and what we've been using all around Europe is this free app and it's called the Rick Steves Europe audio and basically we just use AirPods, so Braden will have one, I'll have the other. And it shows you like a map to follow around. We did it in France and it was absolutely awesome, don't you think? Yeah, it was awesome. So we're going to do that on Florence and I think it's like the perfect thing to do on your first day in Florence because then you get to like walk around and like learn about the different buildings. That's what we're going to do now. And I definitely recommend that app wherever you're going in Europe. They've got audio guides for most places in Europe as well. And it's free. Florence is nestled along the banks of the Arno River in Tuscany, Italy. It is the vibrant birthplace of the Renaissance. The tour started off in the center of Florence at the Duomo. The Duomo is a medieval church that has an incredible green, white and pink marble facade. Entrance to the cathedral itself is free. However, there is always a line to get in, especially in the summertime. You can't come to Florence without missing this church. It is huge and it actually makes it in the top 10 largest churches in the world. Mamma mia, mamma di dare Figli mie, cutte dare Mamma mia, ben già ci tu Se tu tugni lo pesce e ole I tu vai, i tu vene Sembra lo pesce, ma lo tene Se ci picchi la fantasia Mi piscio io la figli mia Okay, interesting fact that I've learned on the tour is that gelato was invented in Florence. And also, if you want to make sure that the gelato is good, make sure that they're serving it out of a tin, like a metal tin, because that means it's homemade. So that way you know it's really good. Like not plastic. This tour was awesome. We got to learn so much about Florence. In the app, it was called a Renaissance Walk, and I would highly recommend everyone to do it. All the places that I've labeled and done a little pin drop from this tour are all the places that I would highly recommend you check out when you come to Florence. Guess what happened? I just got pooped on by a bird. <laughs> it's good luck, right? It's good luck, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, good placement, right on the shoulder, not in the clothes, right? <laughs> also, if you want a really romantic sunset shot, this is the place to be. It's on the bridge. I'll put the name of the bridge on the screen, but you can see sunset and it's, it's really beautiful. Lots of people here, as you can see. So we're about to leave and we got gifted some limoncello. 
Okay, they've just given us some more stuff. So we've got this sweet wine with biscuits. This is Cantucci and Bin Santo sweet wine. Santo. It's just a traditional thing, apparently. Yeah, let's try it. So we just had dinner at Osteria La Dolce Vita and they've only been open for three weeks. The food was absolutely amazing. Amazing. Um, the waiter slash owner Francesco was like so lovely and the service was so good. If you're wanting like an authentic Italian restaurant experience, then definitely go to that restaurant. Yeah, like there's so many, you know, those mainstream restaurants that everyone's going to that's like overrun and crowded. Skip those and like we'd really recommend this one definitely. as just like a, you know, it's new so they really treat their patrons like, well. Yeah, they treat us so well. Like, go follow them. I'll put like their name in the description as well. Anyways, it's gelato time now so we're going to go get some dessert and get some gelato. Oh, I've switched sides. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> next day we have just walked to this piazza behind us um, because we're doing a Vespa tour today <laughs> um, and it's gonna go through the Tuscany hillside so I'm gonna document it for you Brayden is probably gonna be the main driver I think well it sounds like you want to do it yeah I kind of want to try but I don't know I'm a bit nervous to like crash or something <laughs> break our arms. Um, I'll definitely have a go. Anyways, we are excited. The Tuscany area is really close to Florence. So if you're wanting to like pop over there for a day trip, it's a great place to be to do that. We're excited. To start the tour off, we actually got picked to drive with the tour guide in this tiny car. It was so cute and it was so fun to drive around Florence and to experience these cute little cars. I don't know what they're called. If you know what they're called, let me know in the comments. We booked this Vespa tour through Viator. I'll leave the tour that we did in the description as well as a bunch of other tours that I would recommend you do while you're in Florence. We first had a lesson on the Vespa and how to operate it and turn it on and all that jazz. The class was then split up into two different groups. There was a advanced riders group and a beginners riders group. And because Brayden has his motorbike license, we were put in the advanced class, although I'd never ridden a motorbike in my life. We then took turns on the Vespa to show that we could operate it safely. Brayden passed, but I actually failed, but luckily they gave me a second chance and then we were good to ride ride our Vespers around the Tuscany area. So we just rode through the countryside and we've come to our first stop. It's been so fun. I'm on my own Vespa and I've never flippin ridden a bike before. So you can learn in one day. <laughs> Raiden's a pro. Anyway, so we've just come to a vineyard. This looks flippin beautiful. So basically just like driving around Tuscany and like stopping at different places this is like the third stop on the way but I can't really feel much during the ride because I'm riding a Vespa <laughs> and it's my first time so I'm like focusing on that but this is awesome we have a bit of free time now so Brayden is flying a drone and I'm gonna go check out this museum apparently it was built in like I don't know the thousands it's a very old museum but Let's go check it out. This church began construction in 1013 AD, making it one of the oldest churches in Florence. If you walk down the street a little bit, there is a amazing viewpoint called Piazza Michelangelo. We didn't get to go there on this tour, but if you're wanting a good viewpoint of Florence, especially for sunset, highly recommend. <laughs> So we've come to our lunch spot, which I don't know if you can see, but it looks really cool. It's like at a vineyard and I'm actually so starving. I know, hungry? yeah, same. I kind of wish we could do the pasta cooking class, but then I realized, oh, we already get to come here on this tour anyways. So that's yeah. kind of cool itself. So. How, how have you found the ride? Fantastic, great. Yeah, it's yeah. been so fun. It's awesome. So beautiful to ride around here. So beautiful. I wish I was a passenger instead. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that a part of me is like, oh, I wish I was just on the back of yours. Then I could just like enjoy it and like film for you guys but it's actually been really fun riding a Vespa like yeah as I said before I've never ridden a motorbike or anything like that so and also this is like the experience group so I feel like we're going 
like on a cooler path. Even. Yeah, I think so. I think the inexperienced group would be like, I don't know, yeah, I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah. Probably they see less, maybe. Probably and go slower and stuff, but um, yeah, it's been awesome. Do you? Yeah. Okay, wow, first, first ever red wine for me. It's a good first red wine, wow. It's like so... I can taste, oh, wow. it tastes so... Taste the grapes. It tastes so authentic. It wow. does have a really different flavour. Wow. It does taste... Like... our Vespa ride and oh. we went shopping. <laughs> I thought you were like, we okay. finished our shopping and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we spent a bit too much money, but if you're coming to Florence, you have to buy leather things because leather is so cheap here and it's such good quality. Basically all the like designer bags are like made here because the leather is like so, so good quality. I'll show you what we got when we get back to the hotel. But now we want to find some gelato. What flavor did you get, babe? I got the peach one and watermelon. And I got a mint and a panna cotta. And it is sliding right off the cone, so. We're gonna eat it up. I may have had like a two hour sleep. <laughs> I look like this, but we're about to head out for dinner. As you can tell, it's pissing down rain, so excuse the noise. I wanna give you a quick little haul of the leather items that we bought. Okay. First of all, Brayden and I both got new wallets. This is Brayden's wallet. Do you remember how much it was, Hans? All I remember was the whole total price. Okay, yeah, we don't know the price of each, but we know the total price. So I'll tell you the total price at the end because he gave us like discounts on everything because we bought a few things. Anyway, so Brayden got this wallet. It's genuine leather, obviously. Oh, it has the price it's supposed to be. Do you want to use that as a oh, okay. price? Oh, okay. This was 45 euro. But wink wink. It wasn't no actually, he gave us a discount. And then I got this wallet. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't usually get colors or wear colors, but I was like, do you know what? This is actually really cute. So this is my current wallet. It's a Bali fake of a Louis Vuitton, but I love small wallets like this. So that's why I want to get another little wallet. And you can't really tell what the color is on here, but it's more like a dark tan orangey color. Next, Brayden got two belts. They even measured him and cut it to his size, which is amazing. So he got a black belt and also, a, oh, two black. This one's actually like a dark brown and then this one is black. Yeah, genuine leather belts made in Italy. Like they feel so nice. They smell good too, hey? Yeah, I love this And then the last thing we got, is I got this bag. Is it so freaking cute? Let me show you. I think I'm gonna wear it tonight because I don't know, it just looks kind of cute, hey? Again, it was really hard for me to pick a color because I'm not a color person. They do have black and white and neutrals, but I wanted to get some things that were fun because I'm in Florence and I want to buy something fun that I don't normally buy. I'm obsessed with this bag. I'm going to wear it tonight. So in total for five items that cost us 150 euro, um, which is equivalent to around 250 Australian dollars. But if you think about it, a leather bag, like the bag that I bought, that's probably $250 in itself because it's genuine leather. And like the belts, they're probably worth like, I don't know, like $70 each. I think it's a really good deal. If you're coming to Florence, save some extra money to go leather shopping. <laughs> they had so many other cute bags and items as well. If you're a type of person who's really like, you know, a bargainer and wants to like really barter them down, I'm sure you could. We're not really like that. We just pay for what they want us to pay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's an Australian thing. I try and take a kind approach to it. Yeah. You know, I want them to give us 
Yeah. We like, still got We know we're getting ripped off. Obviously, we yeah. know not to get ripped off. But I, I was happy. I'm happy with the price. I'm happy with the price. I don't need to Definitely, go. Definitely, um, yeah. No. And he gave us like a really big discount because we bought so many items as well. I'm so excited to wear my bag to dinner tonight. And that's where we're heading now. We're going to head to dinner. And we're actually going to go to a pizza place that was recommended by our Airbnb host. Apparently, it's the best pizza place in Florence. So I'm hoping it's not booked out. We didn't book it. So <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> So we're here at Il Monocello and first impressions, it's very cozy, like look at this light, like just romantic, cozy, um, authentic. Oh, here comes our wines. Oh, fantastic. We got, we got our wines now. So good. Wow, really? I can't believe Wait. it. why our Airbnb place recommended this restaurant. It's phenomenal. Best pizza I've ever had. Get the Cardina. It has like three pizzas in one. If you're coming to Florence, this is a must. Must. This is Zepole Dolce alla Nutella. Sweet fried bread bowl served with Nutella. We're just leaving dinner. 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10 it was amazing. It's yeah. the best pizza in Italy. We've only had like two pizzas. <laughs> best pizza in Florence, apparently. And it's won all these awards. Make sure you get there before eight because then you get to be seated in the back with the cute candles and the cute fairy lights. If you come a bit later, then they put you at the front and it's not a nice as a vibe, but they do have like foosball tables and like that kind of stuff. So it depends what type of vibe you're after, but we really liked it. Did you already and mention about the lack of tourists? Oh yeah, and there was literally no tourists. Like everyone was Italian. The only time we heard an English person speaking was when we were paying. There was someone behind us from America. But yeah, literally like if you want an authentic restaurant experience in Florence, go to that restaurant. But anyways, we're just gonna walk home now and head to bed because we're both tired. Even though I did have like a three hour nap. True. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, Bella. Duomo. <laughs> hey guys, so it's the next morning. We have packed up all our stuff because we are heading to our next destination, which is Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast, which is so exciting. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs>